Hey, what's up, Love Life family? I am standing out here in Charlotte, North Carolina, Latrobe Drive. It was over a decade ago when I stood on this very sidewalk that I'm standing on right now, and I learned about the reality of abortion in my own backyard, in my own city. And I watched with my own eyes as I saw moms and dads pulling their cars into this facility, one after another. There's about 30 moms come in for an abortion that day. And I saw them, they had tears running down their face. I, I, I could tell that it was a real struggle for them deciding if they're gonna go in or if they're gonna stay in their car. And I literally saw moms walk in and walk out. And it was this spiritual warfare that was literally playing itself out in the physical right in front of me. My heart broke as I knew the reality of what was happening in that building behind me. And I began to think, you know, if this was a, a school where we knew 20 or 30 kids were gonna die in a school shooting, Man, there would be thousands of people here. There'd be breaking news alerts coming across our phones. It would be the main headlines across the nation. But that is the reality that was happening before me that day as I saw these 30 moms going in and 30 children that were losing their lives. My heart began to break over what was happening in my city. But not only for the children and the moms and the dads that were being left devastated by abortion, but it was also the question that I ask of where is the church? Where is the church? Does the church know about the reality that you're sharing with me? And the answer was not many churches really were joining together at that time. But I'm proud to announce that the 32 people that started with the Love Life Prayer Walks in 2016 now has grown to over 200,000 believers that have come out on these sidewalks and these sidewalks across the nation in front of other abortion clinics and literally 1,200 churches that have united and mobilized together. The sleeping giant is awakening in this city and other cities across the nation. I'm very thankful for that. Since 2016, we have seen abortion centers shut down, close their doors. We have seen abortion workers leave the industry. One of them was even the abortionist just several weeks ago that walked out of the clinic. We've seen over 6,000 children that have been saved from abortion hundreds of workers that have left, people that have been healed and restored from past abortions. The church is on the move. And that's why I'm inviting you to continue the journey with me to come back on November 9th for Celebrate Life Prayer Walk. This is our final prayer walk of the year. It's what we call week 40. Our final prayer walk where all churches come together across denominational lines, standing united to answer Jesus' prayer in John 17 that we would be one as He and the Father are one so that the world would believe. What an incredible opportunity for the church to come together over the greatest moral issue of our day. I invite you to come, join us, stand with us. We're gonna be across the nation, thousands of believers coming together to stand up for the most vulnerable in our city. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Please join me for the prayer walk on November the 9th.